Steve here from Steve Ellis Farming. Um, just out and about, walking as I do at night sometimes. Um, so I just wanted to show you why I'm out and about. Uh, a couple of methods that I like to use uh, to to get sparks with a with a fire steel. Um, so three three or four different methods. One of which is uh, one that you could utilise if you'd injured one of your arms. So it's like a one-handed method. Um, so I hope you enjoy. So first up, we've got the push method. Essentially, you are keeping the fire steel still and pushing forwards on the striker. If you push forwards too far, you may have a tendency to knock the tinder out of the way. So what I've done here is put the tinder underneath the fire steel to keep it still. Next up, we've got the pull method. This time round, we're going to keep the striker still and pull back on the fire steel. As you can see there, you may wish to brace the striker on a boot or something just to give you a bit of extra purchase, but it works quite well. Now the alternative pull, basically the same as the pull, but we're going to use the side of the striker rather than the tip. So we will place our tinder and then hold it in place with the tip of our striker like this and then use the side of the striker just to gain the sparks. And finally the one-handed method. As a military survival instructor I teach people who are going to be in harm's way. The likelihood is that you may get an injury Therefore, a one-handed method, simply placing the striker underneath your boot, holding it in place with the foot, and then using the tip of the striker, pulling back on the fire steel to create the sparks. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, leave a comment at the bottom, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will see you next time. Stay safe and stay alive, as, as per. <laughs>